the amplitude of a lightly dampened oscillator decreases by 3% during each cycle, what percentage of the mechanical energy of the oscillator is lost in each cycle? All right. So basically, uh, we have to talk, we have to somehow relate uh, amplitude here, a decrease of 3%, into mechanical energy. You know, amplitude is basically just the displacement, right, from the equilibrium position, and therefore it's basically just x, all right, for the most part. Um, now, essentially, if I'm trying to relate then the displacement to the energy, I can use the formula there that say, states that the potential energy in the spring will be equal to 1 half times k times then that displacement from equilibrium squared. Now, the only thing I'm concerned about, I'm not, I'm just trying to find a percent change, okay? And therefore, uh, what I'm going to do is I can simply just cancel the one half K, all right? That's really the unimportant part. But instead of, you know, I, I can take that shortcut, but instead of doing that, maybe why don't I do this in maybe stages? Why don't I say that basically what I'm going to do is try to find the uh, ratio between the two, okay? So essentially what we're going to do then is that this will be, let's say, the final potential energy, all right? And then therefore that's the final displacement. And what we'll do is we'll try to find the fractional uh, change. So we'll call that, we'll divide it by then the initial potential energy, and that would equal then one half, that's a strange looking two, one half k times xi squared. So now you can clearly see that they will cancel, leaving me with the fraction of potential energy final to the potential energy initial. That will be equal to then the displacement, the final displacement, divided by the initial displacement, all squared. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to come up with a relationship between these two uh, displacements, the final displacement and the initial displacement. So what you can do whenever there's percent change, a nice easy way to do this uh, would be to just use actual numbers, right? So just guess and make up a number for the initial. Let's say that the initial displacement is 100. And that means that if the amplitude then, right, is decreased by 3% as it tells us in the problem, then what would be the final amplitude here or the final displacement? Remember, they're basically proportionally the same. And therefore, it would be about 97, right? This, you know, 97 would be a 3% decrease from 100. So that should hopefully make sense. Now what we can do here, if we like, is I can now plug in the values uh, according to what I, the values I made up. Since their percentage, it doesn't, since they're related via percent, it does not matter uh, whether you chose 197. If you chose 10 to start with, then you'd have 9.7, right? I mean, you could literally come up with anything you like. If you wanted to create an equation out of this, you would have said something like xi times then 0.97. Basically, the 0.97 came from 1 minus the percent change, okay, would equal then the final value. You can do that too. That's totally fine. And therefore, xi would equal 0 0.97 equals xf, right? So what you can do then is either do one of two things now, right? Take this thing, plug it in for the final value, okay? Or you could have literally taken the 100, plugged it in for the initial, and then taken the final 97 and plugged it in for the final. It doesn't matter. All right, um, both would have arrived at the same answer. I'm gonna show potential energy initial. I'm gonna show the mathematical, the, the uh, xi times then the 0 0.97 all over uh, xi, that whole thing squared. All right, you can do it, do it the other way. See if you come out with the same answer. So those xi's will cancel, right? And now I'm left with the potential energy, the final relative to the initial is going to be equal to 0 0.97 squared. And all I have to do is now square that, right? So basically the percent uh, lost now, this will actually represent the fraction lost, right? The only difference between fraction and percent is that percent's multiplied by 100, right? And fraction isn't. So here I'm not multiplying by 100 yet. So I'm just gonna square the 0 0.97. That's gonna give me 0.9409 and I'll call it 9.4 because two sig figs, I guess. And then converting that into percent, right, just multiply that by 100. So it would, the final value now, right, you have to remember what you're calculating. The final value now would be 94% of the initial value, right? Remember that this is essentially, this is still a fraction. So if you're looking at this over here, the final energy is 0.94, and the initial energy, well, it would be this would be divided by 1, right, mathematically speaking? So if I were to convert this thing into a percent, I can multiply the whole thing by 100, 
right? And really I have to do to the top and the bottom, otherwise, right, they're not equivalent. Uh, so now what it would be is basically 94% divided by 100%. In other words, the final potential energy is 94% of the initial. That's one way to state the answer, right? However, they want to know how much is lost. Not, not what fraction remains, but how much is lost. So now all you have to do is think about, well, if we started out with 100% of the initial and we're left with 94%, how much did you lose in percentage terms? You simply lost, do the subtraction. You simply lost about 6%, right? Now, when you do this calculation, I would do it with the exact answer because the reason why, you're gonna see on the screen here, please note this, I'm writing this out and I'm using the exact value I calculated here in terms of my percent, all right? So uh, it's gonna be 0.059 considering two sig figs, and it's not 0, 0.0, but it's 5.9. So it'd be 5.9%. I know when you do that in the calculator, what I have written, it's going to come out to be 6% exactly, but again, I'm not using the 9, 94%. I'm using the 94.09%, the exact value. All right. Uh, sure. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Take care.